Well, the first time we put SideQuest on hiatus, what was, why did we do it the first time? First time it was failing was because Steve hadn't made a robot costume that had taken roughly eight months by that point. I can give you a handful of ways not to do a robot costume. The final way, which is still not a way to do a robot costume, is to use craft foam with stretchy bands tied around the body. So it was essentially a suit of armor with belts held together in a really traditional way. Steve was making a very intricate robot costume. I didn't know how intricate until we were in the middle of it. Every time we shot, I had added something new to try and keep everything in place, but I didn't have time to test it out beforehand, so every time we shot a scene, it was a new trial for a new piece. The robot costume was kind of hard to move around in. Moving it was a nightmare, filming with it was a nightmare. It took him roughly 45 minutes to get into, and he constantly kept working on it, even throughout the, the production. And there was a lot of miscommunications as to, like, deadlines, like the very specific deadlines, because I couldn't be like, all right, you need this specific part done, because no one knew the parts but Steve. Like, I felt really bad because Steve was working a lot, and there was no one else that could really do this. All of a sudden, it was a day and a half until the shoot, and he was working like a madman. I didn't sleep, but I got a lot of work done. I felt like everybody's dad. It would be done, Kind of, but he'd be very sad and angry and cranky about it. In the end, you, you want it to look like something, and when it's finally done and you see a picture of it, and you're saying, this isn't quite what I had in mind, it was kind of soul-crushing, and, well, maybe that's a little too <laughs> extreme. That would be filmed or postponed, and he'd have more time to work on something else, and then he'd get happy again for a short period of time. We put a lot of faith in me to finish uh, a large number of costumes well and on time, and I exacerbated that by saying, yeah, I can, I can finish all of these things that you've given me. And at the end of the day, like, uh, I just couldn't meet deadlines. It was actually a major, mo major motivator for me um, further down the line to kind of stress deadlines a little more. Uh, which, as much as they're stressed when a project still falls on one person, uh, they really mean dick. It sucked, and it really stalled things. Everyone was in a really good mindset at the beginning. I was disappointed. I was, I really enjoyed the trailer. I also felt guilty because I'd cut my hair. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it had anything to do with it, but no, I know it didn't. After we had a party at our house, we're all in our kitchen, and we're like, so if Steve doesn't have the costume done in, let's say, two weeks, we should probably can the movie and move on to something else. And we says, okay, no hard feelings all around, because we all pretty much felt the same thing. Finally, we says, well, everything's kind of running behind, so we're going to postpone it for now. We're going to start working on, God, I think it was Project Snake at the time. He said, don't worry about working on it. Objection! He came back to me about a year later and said, hey, is that nominal costume done? And I said, you told me not to work on it. Trying to shoot two movies at once just wasn't working, so it was kind of uh, in a, an inevitability that one of them was going to get uh, pushed off. And since we'd made a lot more progress on Snake at the time, uh, Side Quest was just kind of left out in the cold. I remember being really excited for the script, um, and that was probably the second rewrite. The first major rewrite to the script. I remember being really excited for that, but then we didn't film for probably five months after that. It started to look like, you know, before we even really got into it the second time, that there was going to be a lot of problems given uh, 
the actor's conflicting schedules. It came about at a time when everyone was just finishing college, when people were moving apart, when a lot of the principal actors, and it was a large cast, when their schedules were all changing. And primarily trying to organize everything became a logistical nightmare. And then go into the prayer. Mm -hmm. um. Off should have been recast which is unfortunate when someone's been a part of a project that long, but I think this was the telling point for us as a production company that we can't ever hold up a production just for one actor. The second time I was a little relieved. We had done a lot of winter shoots and it wasn't the same anymore. I wanted her to be a part of it, but now there's nothing and there might have been if she'd been replaced at the time. At that point we didn't have any other like projects that we were working on at the time, so uh, the one that we were, you know, trying to work on kept getting pushed back, so we were basically doing nothing that whole year, and uh, that kind of sucked a lot. I think that was kind of the moment where it just didn't feel like there was going to be any recovery. I didn't really know if it was ever going to come back. I had almost given up. It didn't feel like we were hurting it by having a hiatus right then. I thought it was a hiatus for that was really for the good of the project.